I loved it. And I think, you know, the world was watching. So we had the Queen with James Bond and we had Mr Bean and we had some things that were recognisable. But it was a story for us, about us, full of sort of in-jokes of our national psyche and our conversation, even the shipping forecast and the EastEnders <laughs> theme tune. And that's, you know, being a nation is about things we experience together, things we share, the sort of shared soundtrack of our lives. So the fact that 27, of us, 27 million of us were watching that, that that night actually is something quite rare in society today, something we do together on that scale. Peter Hitchens. Yeah, I just don't think that everybody in the country th thought at the time or thinks now that the 1960s were the beginning of civilization, that rap music was a particularly good demonstration of British culture, uh, or that in general it, re it reflected the way they felt about their country. Certainly having myself a rather chilly, windswept, austere, Protestant, monocultural view of Britain, I didn't find it particularly appealing. But and the other thing I felt was I was very much under pressure uh, to say that I liked it. Mm. And when I said that I didn't, people didn't say, oh, we disagree with you, let's argue about this. They said, oh, it's really shocking that you, that you, didn't, that you didn't like it. There Why was a didn't monoculture. you take part of this, this, I agree with that. This, there was a monoculture at the time, wasn't there? compulsory joy. Which I really loathe compulsion. But just explain, joy. why do you go back to the 1960s? Because the opening because ceremony went back to the Industrial Revolution, yeah, it, it went back to Shakespeare, it went back to Dickens. Dominated it hugely by the 60s theme, by, uh, by, by rock music and by punk and all this garbage, as far as I'm concerned, which has no bearing on culture at all. And it, this, 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 was, this is what they clearly were happiest with and, and what dominated the, the whole thing. The well, the suffragettes were in there too. I, it, it the was, Chelsea it, it pensioners, was, it was, the I mean, Queen. I, it, Paul Flynn, who, is, who, who I like immensely, who's a very, a very good um, left-wing member of Parliament, enjoyed it immensely because it was left-wing. And I'm not left-wing, and I dislike the bits of it which were left-wing. I'm not, I'm not so sure about that, because in a way, although it had a leftward reach and a liberal reach for something that was patriotic, you know, the history and the roots were there too, so I, th I did think it tried, to, okay. it tried to blend that. You know, the they clue were amazed. Is that, the, 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 the morning after they expected, yeah. so Cotterill Boyce was on standby to defend it. And then but, there was nobody to defend it against, except me. Are you in the Aidan Burley lefty multicultural oh, no, crap? No, spare line. us Aidan Burley. I, I, I really, apart from anything else, I, nobody can criticise uh, the, the the Olympics for being multicultural, the ceremony for being multicultural, but, but, while using sorry. words, lavatory wall I language think it like that. I had a much broader ownership than that. The, you know, the clue is with 27 million people there. If you're if you're one of the people in London who voted Remain and is very upset about the referendum, you'll be thinking, oh, what have we lost? I want my country back, why has that gone? If you're a Leave voter in the North East or in uh, the, the Potteries now, you'll be thinking that Olympic opening ceremony explains the reason I voted Leave, the Industrial Revolution, the, ja the Jarrow Marches. It so was an incredibly that's confident what it's about. moment, that's wasn't what it's it, about for, for being Britain. a nation, is that thing, people who disagree politically share these cultural moments, you know, the world wars, the NHS doesn't belong to one party It was unjustified confidence. The, the Olympics was, was, was like a, a family on your street who are known for being heavily in debt, who can't meet their mortgage payments, who suddenly borrow hundreds of thousands of pounds to stage an enormous party, which is what we did. We, th this, this is a country hugely in debt as a, as a state and as a people, and we splashed nine billion quid on this immense party. Which we did, which we we didn't need to stage, which we actually fought to stage. But the, point the, is the ceremony it, it, should really have been a gigantic plug hole with George Osborne shoveling fifty pound notes. Sunder's point there is it reminded people of all that we've achieved, whether it was inventing the internet and the digital revolution, inventing the industrial revolution, Shakespeare, Dickens, Harry Potter, the Queen. It gave us that sort of, if you like, nation state confidence. Yeah, and we've that. soared onwards and upwards ever since, of course. Well, what does that mean? Do you think it played into Brexit in any no, way? I mean, in terms I, I, of I don't think it has. I think it, it, it was it, it had absolutely no fundamental profound effect on, on the country Brexit, at all, Brexit, except increasing our overdraft. Brexit isn't isn't there at all in an interesting way because forty years of being half hearted, reluctant Europeans doesn't really feature in the ground sweep. After you've got the Windrush and Sergeant Pepper, you don't have Heath and Wilson taking us into Europe. So actually that story of social progress and change wasn't what was on the ballot paper in this referendum. The question of this referendum wasn't, do you want to live in 1972 or 2016? It was a more pragmatic question well, so it, about do, do you like living in 2016? And 52% and, and of the population said, no, actually, not much. No, they, they said, we, we don't think so that being in the European like, Union now like being, um, reflects our interests and we, values going we, we forward. They still own that historic yeah. sweep, which belongs to both sides they, of the referendum. They that's, said that's they, what being a nation we don't is. like being ignored by the kind of people who devised that opening ceremony.